Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your August 2019 general reading. So, it's a general reading so it will not resonate with every Aquarius who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated guys. I hope that everyone is doing really well. Um, many blessings going out to the Aquarius. Uh, I have not pre-shuffled, so we're going to shuffle here. Camera, let's go ahead and bless our cards. This is what I normally do off camera, but um, bless them here with you. How about that? Um, did, I, did I make all the announcements? Thank you for like, sharing, subscribing. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Um, thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for blessing us with this reading. Your message, not mine. Use me as that vessel that I pray to be used as. Thank you for blessing these cards. All right. So, Aquarius. Lots of changes. Lots of, um, lots of changes. Good changes. It doesn't feel good for some of you because you're going like a, a, through a complete transition. Things are happening. It is chaos what, what do they say it's like before something really really good comes in your life or something really really good happens you get like mayhem like complete chaos for some of you that is happening or that has happened um or you're coming out on like the tail end of it so that's a good thing um some of you there's somebody who really likes you loves you but they're not you're not in communication you're not speaking there's also someone who you want to speak to but once again no communication there's somebody who's far who's at a distance also uh for some of you there are some endings of contracts marriages Let's see what the cards have to tell us. We're going to do past, present, future, okay? All right, let's get into it. Give us one card for the past for the Aquarius. One card for the past. Okay. Wow. The past is the Ace of Pentacles. So, we know that's a new foundational start. Um... It, like I said, lots of endings, lots of beginnings. Um, the Aquarius is how they're coming off to other people and their self-expression is creating new foundations, new everything, things that they can have um, forever. The Aquarius is concerned about longevity here. And it's the start of, also it's a blessing. It's a blessing. I'm hearing a blessing in disguise for some of you because it feels as if you're losing a lot or you've lost a lot. Ace of Pentacles in the past. Some of you could have gotten engaged, bought a new home, new, new car, started a new job, uh, new business here. Large purchase of some sort in the past or just foundations. I'm hearing recreating foundation so the starting over um let's see presently two cards one to flip out for the present so we have the high priestess and the seven of wands spirit's been talking to you been communicating with you uh, frequently and there's lots of synchronicities and lots of um intuitive messages this talks about your psychic abilities being heightened yeah um, presently this talks about also you needing to have more what's the word perseverance and endurance in regards to getting whatever it is that you want or like really building upon this this solid foundation because there is an Aquarius or there was depending on if your mind has changed around this subject or there is an Aquarius who is um, 
you haven't gotten what you want in your life due to fear of commitment. You've been half in, half out. There's always been a backup plan. There's always, there's never just plan A. You've had plan A, B, C, and D if it didn't work out. And it says that fear of commitment is not just the, the fear of actually uh, doing it, whatever it may be every day, but fear of commitment could be, first it starts in the mind. So if you have this, this new start, this new foundational start, but in your mind, you're, you're thinking, okay, yeah, I'm going to start it. But if it doesn't work out, I'm going to do this other thing too. And I got this other thing that I can do. Then you're not fully committed. So for someone out there it's telling you in the present, Spirit is trying to speak to you. This is the Seven of Wands. You have some talents, some hidden talents, some, some repressed talents. Natural given gifts, maybe even of spiritual gifts. That, that want to be exposed, that want you to, they want you to put more energy, effort, time into it. It says you haven't gotten what you want in life, whatever that may be for the Aquarius, because of fear of commitment. Your mind has to be committed first, and then of course, everything else follows. The action, uh, the emotion. So that's, that's for some of you. Okay, so in the near future. It also talks about planning. Some of you have plans in your mind. You have not written them on paper. Write them down. You're guarding... You're holding real close to your chest your plans. For some of you, this is a that's a really good idea to do that. Um, and you should, but for some of you, it says something about the written word, you the spell, writing it out, spelling, cast the spell. Hopefully, it's a good spell, <laughs> Aquarius. But um, write it out. You know. Um. In the future, what do we have for the Aquarius? We also have some things here. I'm sorry, I'm stuck in the present. There's some things that um, you, you've been on this spiritual journey. You've been on this journey. You, you have found enlightenment here. And that's why Spirit is working with you in regards to some of you need to keep the faith and know that you're on the right path and remain in control even in situations where you feel like there is a lack of control or you don't or you're not controlling what's going on you feel as if it's chaos when spirit says maintain balance because like i said before i started shuffling the cards it's like something really good is coming but before the good it's the the chaos the drama the frustration the confusion for some of you this may be um, some new contractual agreement some marriage this is surrounding your w back to what I say your work habits what you do every day your money your income work ethics this says for some of you Aquarius it plain flat out you're not doing enough you're not doing enough. Examine your work habits. Your work habits. Your work ethic. Examine yourself. You're not getting exactly what you want. Because of you. Do more. Persevere. Fight for it. Spirit is with you if you, if you, if you do it. Some of you have done a lot of spiritual work and that's a beautiful thing. Now it's time to put the action behind it. Um, I'm just hearing do more, do more. A commitment. Some of my queries have one foot in, one foot out. Maybe a business, maybe a relationship, maybe a job, maybe a job and a business idea. It says gotta commit to something or yeah to one one position okay in the near future I know I shuffle for the near future three times right <laughs> we 
we'll get it together. Some of you want more money. It says it's here for you. It's here for the taking. But you have to get in alignment in regards to commitment, your habits, your work ethic. There's nothing habitually being done here. It's I pick it up and then I put it down. Then I pick it up and then I put it down. And, you know, I don't know. Okay, it flipped out. Great. All right, yay. And it this flipped, none of these cards are reversed. I just want you to know that, but this flipped out in the reverse for the near future position. Eight of Swords, um, Eight of Swords in the reverse near future. Some of you are going to, once you do this, examine yourself, your habits, your pre-planning, the plan if you have one, or lack of planning, uh, your definitely work ethics and, and money um, material possessions if these are the things that you're you're wanting to have to cultivate to have more of then you have to commit to something and it says if you do this then in the near future the eight of swords in reverse you won't feel so stuck and so tied so bound so so um, frustrated with what you this is also about money matters too but this is on a, a larger scale so it says you won't feel so bound and so frustrated and so stuck and tied to something that you feel as if um, it was draining you you'll be able to come out of a situation that was draining you some of you feel drained in, in a particular position, a particular situation. Let's see. Some of you will come out of feeling stuck financially to loans, to investments to merging with with other people and and the merger just wasn't the, the merger made you feel like this you'll come out of that once you get to a place of um, setting something in, in motion for yourself some habitual um, nature and not the sporadic What is this Eight of Swords in the future? Ace of Cups upright. If if you this is also somebody who's in who's going to be in a in a position of authority too. Some of you may have business idea or you're embarking on a new business or you have a business but you have not fully committed to it. Uh, this says that. Also, for some of you, this might be a new home purchase, too. Some of you are not going to feel so stuck and tied to maybe something that was made you feel trapped. In the near future, you're coming out of something that made you just feel um, a sense of entrapment. Made you feel as if there was there is no way out. This is all about money. Aquarius and this is about cultivating more uh, in, in uh, ebb and flow the ebb and flow the the um, okay, replenishment I just heard that word okay so what this looks like is that the Aquarius just needs to commit to one position the Aquarius may have two and three and four jobs right and you're spreading yourself thin but you have something that you do very well or something that you're very passionate about or some hidden gift or talent that is has been repressed because you felt like 
how am I going to capitalize off of that, right? How am I going to take care of self off of the fact that I know how to paint very well or sing very well or read cards very well? How am I going to, to make a living? Once you get into some habitual state and you commit to it, then you can come out of that mindset of, I don't see this working. You come out of that and you get to a place of fulfillment. You get to a place of being filled with spirit, therefore moving in the right direction on your path is is easy. Is um, the, the ebb and flow is there for you. It's not it's not a tug of war, it's not an uphill battle. But it's all about what you want to do to what you do and what you commit to to cultivate the Ace of Cups. Now this is just general. So we're gonna go into a love spread now. So anyway, let's see with the butterfly oracle card. And we will drill down more over at the website for those of you who are curious about you know well what should I commit to maybe he'll be the card will give us some some idea okay so the advice here for this general reading this general spread in regards to the Aquarius But what I think is what I am. I don't know where's that coming from. I don't even think that's the right quote for how man thinks is what he is or what he what he feels. Also, you're thinking or what you're committed to. See, some of you you're so divided in your mind. What do you have to tell Aquarius for this general spread? Take the next step now. Isn't that what's in the present? Examine yourself and what you aren't committing to. And persevere and be endure. It can happen for you. Take the next step now. Okay, that one just flipped out. Religion and spirituality. For some of you, so we know that religion is... You know, religion is what you what you commit yourself to. Your thinking, you religiously let's say wash your hands, right? It's what you're committed to doing. To I religiously wash my hands. What do you religiously do, Aquarius? Is it nothing? Is it something? Sometimes that's not religion. Then you have this is all about commitment commitment what are you committing yourself to spiritually this is about spirit is saying we're here we're here we're, we want to help there's a lack of focus and commitment one more for the Aquarius what can you tell the Aquarius for the near future if the Aquarius if the Aquarius takes the advice of the cards, what will happen in the near future? Hmm. So this is about rule and regiment. Like you have to get some <laughs> in your life, Aquarius. If you just if you just do that, right? Um Spirit can get behind that. But if you pick it up and then you put it down, and then you pick it up and then you put it down, and then you do this and you do that, and then I'm over here doing this and doing that, and then my mind is over here. No. Spirit is like, I don't know what to bless because next week I'll be blessing something new. Let's see. 
All right. Okay, I'm gonna take them. All right. So we have in the near future adult children moving and join in. Okay, so Aquarius just talks about joining a group of people who share your same interests. Now this is not an online group, this is actual physical, personal on person contact. Going out into the world, joining in. You you want to learn about something and you want to cultivate something new because the page of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck um, so this is about joining people who can help further your position or help further you in your position moving this could just be um, like actually physically moving home moving house and we do have the ace of cups the ace of cups sig you know signifies um, a new home because what do you do with a new home, whether it's an uh, actual home or apartment, whatever, you fall in love with it first. And the Ace of Cups is you, um, firstly, the, the, the overflow of emotion. Uh, and then you also could be moving the proverbial move away from, you know, negative people, negative things, and I'm getting my life together, I'm moving away, you know, all of that, right? Adult children. For some reason, it's coming up. We do have the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We're going to drill down on adult children over at the website. But let's jump into our love spread. I know that's what some of you are here for anyway. Um, adult children. So, of course, you could be the adult child. Or you have young adult children. For some reason, they're playing a part in this move in this is joining in maybe you need to be more active with them in their life and their social sector maybe there needs to be a bit more parenting so much there um, but we'll drill down on that over at the website all right so what can you tell the aquarius in regards to love love and relationship for the aquarius one more Aquarius it just looks like you kind of got off your game a little bit off your focus you're trying to focus on too much but once you course correct you, you're, you'll be fine because the outcome is absolutely beautiful the ace of cups okay let's see what's going on here Past in love for the Aquarius. The past. Okay, card flipped out. Queen of Swords in the past. I immediately heard, I'll meet you halfway. Don't know what that means. I, I kind of do, but then I kind of don't. So for some of you, it's like, um,. <sighs> For some of you in the past, it was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give this another try. I'm willing to, I'm willing to hear you out. The Queen of Swords is all about, um, I will listen to your position and I will take it into account. Uh, but at the end of the day, I still have the final say. She's um, very articulate. She's um, poised. She's been through a lot. So she, um, she's, a, she's a good read of person also. Uh, so the Queen of Swords in the past, she could be jaded. She could have gone through a lot. So she's kind of, you, you're not getting much by her. You're not gonna get too much by her. All right, in the present, where's the Aquarius? The Queen of Swords can show up to deal with a Virgo. Um, the Queen of Swords could show up when um, there's somebody front that you have a significant history with who's showing up. 
or there's a sketchy character you find them sketchy for whatever reason if they're new you find their their demeanor questioning if you will okay in the present the five of wands okay. so there could be some bickering there could be some inner conflict within yourself because of a significant love affair it could have been an exclusive love affair it could have been there were other people involved in this love affair there's drama associated with a that's why you in the past were coming up as queen of swords and now presently either internally or externally you are at the five of wands you you also may be having a lot of competition a lot of people grabbing and buying for your attention and you may be trying to give it to everybody um or vice versa you're dealing with someone who's like that um also you may be at, at a at a place of inner conflict because there there was there is or there was a significant love affair but there was a lot of romance associated with this also but there was drama and there was childish games being played there were childish behavior there could have been someone who was already committed you or the other person or both of you we'll, we'll drill down on this um, could be dealing with a fire sign, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay. Um, in the near future for the Aquarius, what did it have to look forward to? Wow, this flipped out of the deck. Ace of Cups. Oh, Knight of Cups. I'm looking at the Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups. Ooh, child. This is... Already got a headache. And then at the bottom of the deck, the sun. So you know what, Aquarius? This is a situation where, um, like I said, this is a person who you had a significant history with. The history wasn't all together lovey-dovey and beautiful. It could have been third party. It could have just been drama and games and mind games and childish behavior on your behalf on their behalf whatever whomever um someone could have been committed already you're committed i don't know but in the near future we have someone like this the knight of cups and the sun do you know what the sun says it says a new friendship or relationship will bring you a lot of happiness and contentment Some of you also could be getting pregnant in the near future. There's someone wanting to to give the cup. They want lots of emotion here. Lots of emotion. There is an offer, the Knight of Cups, which is 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 sweet. But I don't like the Knight of Cups. Not really. Because the Knight of Cups be in love with being in love. Uh uh, we're too old for that. Okay, um, what do you want? What do you want, sir? What do you want? Okay, um, we're gonna drill down on who and what the Knight of Cups is and what they actually want. The sun is here, Major Arcana. It says that, um, it's also a blessing, a blessing of positivity here. This person, this person has you in the mindset, because you're coming up as the Queen of Swords in the recent past. This person has you like, what do you want? What do you want? Like, I, what do you want? Yeah. Ugh. I don't, it's not bad. 
it's just more so um, not knowing exactly what this person wants and why are they resurfacing because this looks like a person a person that is resurfacing so let's see what the advice is here what's the advice for the near future for the Aquarius choose a new direction now what I've learned with that card choose a new direction it's not always that okay so you can't choose the person that may be coming at you as the knight of cups right but it may be saying that you need to you may already be in this position right like i'm not having it i'm not here for it what, what do you want i mean like you're on guard so it's telling you choose a new direction choose choose a new new approach to this situation because the sun is here Uh, that could be a way or for some of you you know who you're dealing with you know if you're dealing with somebody you know you shouldn't give another uh, you shouldn't even be talking to them again you know if you're dealing with that person and then some of you know if you you're dealing with someone who um, you you could give a second chance to let's see okay the situation will improve all right nice the Aquarius the two came out got a yes answer and unlikely we have to clarify both of those improving health at the bottom of the deck nice nothing but really really good cards Aquarius um, okay so I normally we will clarify the yes answer because that is the rule on this channel to clarify all yes answers but um yeah we're gonna click we're gonna really drill down on this to see if this person really wants and what they have to offer this is a person who you have a significant history with it says that it's positivity here we have a yes answer two cards came out wow yeah three of cups in the world so it says that someone wants to start the creation process with you again for some of you and this is someone it could be someone new who wants to date you whomever this is they want to to start putting in the work and the love uh, the, the courtship in regards to you The world is here saying that this person may want to come back um, to you, reconcile with you, reconnect with you, re, 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 whatever it may be. Um, because they feel as if uh, there's like a level of maturity that has been reached with this person. They have gone through something that has just really transformed the energy for them and everything surrounding them. Once again, about a new partnership, a new maturity, a level of maturity. The world is here, saying that um, this also may be a person that's far from you. They may be coming to reconnect with you. The opportunity for travel is here. The opportunity to have a long-awaited wish fulfillment is here. And it may be that this person comes back for some of you. For some of you, it it takes you into a tailspin because you you pulled yourself out of a situation with this person that just wasn't getting you what you wanted, and now they're back again. 
and it puts you in a place of okay what do they want what do they want i can't do this again you know so Aqu aquarius let's see what they want in regards to love this person that looks like it's coming back what does this person want what does this person want with the aquarius Okay. All right. Wow. Wow. Okay, Aquarius. Maybe I'm not. Wow. Wow. Okay. Aquarius, meet me on the other side. Um, I will tell you it's good. But then we'll, you know, I don't really like to do the signs, but I'll tell you what signs are here if, you know, that helps you out. Um, it looks really good, though. It looks really good in regards to love and what this person wants. All right, so let's pull some cards in regards to... Um, the general reading we talked about in the general reading yeah what is this adult children for the Aquarius adult children what's going on with adult children for the Aquarius what can you tell them about adult children Mm. Mm. What's this moving card for the Aquarius? What's the moving card? What's the moving card? Wow, Aquarius, not a bad card out of the deck. You know, in the playing cards, deck, the five of wands is new love, new marriage that's in the present but so the playing cards has the five of clubs as new love and new marriage because when you in, when you start something new right with someone and this new love and this new marriage it always takes you to a place of um, contemplation not sure of uh, an internal conflict especially if you have um, history with this person and then for some of you you could already be married this new marriage you know there might be a bit of you know bumping heads here and there but this isn't anything in regards to you getting a divorce over or you separating but that's what um you know the marrying of, of two lives is you know it's you know dealing with the good and the bad so Aquarius and that was the only bad card in the entire spread and I used two different decks tarot decks and then two different um, uh, oracle decks so Aquarius nice 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 some of you don't feel this energy but live in it and know that it's here for you it but something really, really, really wonderful, something really wonderful, really good is about to happen for you or, or surrounding you. It takes you, you might be going through it. Like, you may be feeling like, when is this shit going to end? Because this is crazy, you know. Why can't I have the normal, quiet little life that either I used to have or my friends have or family members have um well, even the card under the bottom of the deck is good jeez Aquarius um Aquarius let's go over to the other side and talk about what this person wants with you and we're also going to talk about moving for some of you we're going to talk about the card that came out on adult children and then the, the other card in regards to some of you Aquarius need to make um, decision and choices. Okay. All right. 
in regards to just general life. It could be work, career, finance, whatever. Aquarius, I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. Um, some of you say, I don't do long readings anymore. I, I really don't because of the upload time. So, um, but anyhow, um, it's all here for you. I hope that this gave you a bit of clarity. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Meet me over on the other side. It's always $2.25 to get the extended reading. Not a whole bunch of money invested, especially if you aren't at a place where you can invest a lot of money or what may seem as a lot of money um also if you want to get your own personal reading where we can drill down on your energy especially if you feel like something is happening within you for you surrounding career finance or love go over to the website book your own reading there make sure you use coupon code 10 off 35 the coupon code will be below you have to use it at the website level not at paypal not at square but at my website, put the code in the website, then go over to PayPal, okay? All right, Aquarius, thank you, take care, bye.